<clears throat> okay, I got the uh, caps in and all torqued down. Um, the only one I didn't torque down was this one here, number three, because this is where your thrust bearing is. And uh, you only torque this one down to about 10 pounds to start with to set your thrust. But um, a couple things to note before you put the crank in, or I mean before you put all the caps on, I should say. I'll show you a picture in this book here. What you should do with the number five cap before you put it on. Okay, this is a picture of the cap. And you see those cross, uh, cross hatch sections? Okay, it says uh, to put some kind of sealant on there, like RTV. My guess is because the uh, oil pump's uh, bolted to that and. Uh, just so then you maintain oil pressure. It doesn't leak past. Put some kind of sealer on there. But, um, yeah, just make sure you put that on before you uh, torque that cap down. And uh, one thing to note on this engine, since it does use a rope type seal, that uh, a two piece rope seal, it is going to drag a bit. Uh, whenever you turn so if you go to turn it like this and it's dragging a little tough to turn but it's still turning freely and it's not binding anywhere it feels smooth um, all that is is that rope seal on the back um, they do that and that's just how they are uh, they'll, they'll do that until they break in a little bit you know they're not like a one piece you know like a neoprene or rubber seal they definitely have some drag to them. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set your thrust and measure your uh, end play. Now, uh, what you do is once you have all your caps torqued down except number three, uh, torque these bolts to about 10 foot pounds each. You take your, take your dead blow and take your pry bore. So go ahead and just tap on this front crank. I always put my bolt in just to be, you know, safe. You don't need it with a dead blow, but either way. So what you want to do is give it a couple of taps, thrust it to the rear, and then come behind your uh, the very end of your crank and the plate on your engine stand and pry forward a little bit. You do that again. Thrust it forward. Thrust it back. Okay, now when it's thrusted back like this, take your feeler gauges. Um, this has a thrust load of, uh, I think, three and a half to. 13 and a half thousandths. And what you want to do is just measure between your thrust faces and the uh, the uh, crankshaft here. So just stick that feeler gauge in between there. I'm starting out with a four. Okay, so I can fit a four in there and it's snug. So now I'll thrust it forward and check this side as well. I like to check both sides just to be on the safe side. There's no real reason to, but thrust it forward. One more, double check it. Okay. So now that we have our uh, Have our uh, thrust figured out. I'm going to go ahead and thrust it forward on this last one. And then go ahead and uh, tighten your cap down. And that check I did with the feel of gauge uh, wasn't the uh, actual check. It was just kind of like a check before I do my final torque just to make sure that there is clearance. Um, your final check will be done after you have this uh, torque down. 
So uh, let me grab my torque wrench here. And the uh, torques, the torque on all four of these caps is 80 foot pounds, and this last one is 120. And I torque them all evenly in four steps. So 20, 40, 60, and then finally 80 for these. And then this last one I went up four steps as well with all these, but I just used larger increments to get there. So we're going to do the same with this. It's torqued at 10 right now, so we're going to go 20. 20 again. 40. Now 60. Now the final torque of 80 foot pounds. Okay. And the way that you torque main bearings is you start in the center and work your way out. So I what I did was I started with uh, since I wasn't using this one in the middle, I just went this one, this one, this one, and then my final, my number five rear one. So now that we have that torque down. Now it's the real, real measurement. Go ahead and tap it back again. Stick your filler gauge in the rear face. That four fits great. I'll go ahead and pry in the back. here as well so we're good on our clearance but uh just wanted to show you guys how you do one of these uh, these Oldsmobile engines are a little bit different than uh, what you would run into with a small block Chevy or something else but uh, again if you do have a drag whenever you're turning your crank and if you want to be on the safe side just go ahead and pull your number five cap and then try turning it without that cap being there You'll find that it turns much smoother, but um, again, all that is is just that uh, rope seal dragging because it's a new seal. But uh, that's how you uh, uh, check and set your thrust for this crankshaft. But uh, it's it's not hard to do as you can see, but it's just something that does need to be done if you want your engine to run gr good and for a long time. But um, now that I have this crank in. Uh, I'll probably start, uh, I'll just flip this engine over and show you how to check uh, piston ring end gap and uh, how to put your new pistons on your old connecting rods. So that'll be the next video. Thank you for watching.